What's up guys? It's your boy, The Paradox Nerd here, back again with another video. And today, I'll be doing a comparison between the Hot Toys Stormtroopers from the New Hope movie and the Hot Toys Stormtrooper from the Return of the Jedi movie coming up next. Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in. So I wasn't planning to do a comparison video between the New Hope Stormtrooper and the Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper uh, just because I don't own a New Hope Stormtrooper. But fortunately enough for me, I have a friend that actually lives close by and was kind enough to let me borrow his uh, New Hope Stormtrooper 2 pack, uh, which is actually brand new. He's never opened it and he's kind of like kept it up in his attic for quite some time now. Uh, I'm kind of shocked that he's never opened it, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be the first one to open this box and uh, kind of check out what's inside. So shout out to you, Vader Undershorts. Thank you again, man, for letting me borrow your Stormtrooper 2-pack to, uh, to do this video. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm going to unbox this bad boy, take everything out, and do the comparison video. So I'm actually really excited. But before I do this unboxing, I just want to give a really quick shout out to the best Hot Toys podcast out there, Six Scale Scavengers. If you guys are looking for a really awesome Hot Toys podcast, please check them out. All right, let's open this bad boy now. And underneath is the cover slip art. And it's just a picture of both Stormtroopers. And man, wow, that looks awesome, guys. You got uh, a tall stormtrooper and, I don't know, a shorter one. <laughs> right, let's check this stormtrooper two pack out. Oh my gosh, it's really hard to take this out. Wow, that looks really awesome, guys. So you get like, I believe this is a DLT rifle. I'm not too sure. Could be totally wrong, but man, you get a long range rifle. You get the E11 blasters. So that is pretty cool. You get a pistol. Wow, you get quite a bit in this uh, this two pack. You get the thermal detonator canister. Get some hands. And underneath are the, the base stands. Oh wow, you actually get a mouse droid. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Wow. I wish I'd never missed out on this two pack. All right, so uh, Let's take out the taller one and do the comparison video. All right, so let's check out the differences between both Stormtroopers. And as you can see and tell right away, the helmet design is probably the number one thing that's different between the both of them. In the Return of the Jedi version, you can see that the helmet is definitely skinnier, longer, and definitely more weathered than the New Hope version where it is shorter, wider, and definitely a lot cleaner looking. Uh, in the Return of the Jedi version, the helmet brow is definitely darker than the New Hope version. I also want to point out in the uh, Return of the Jedi version, you can see that the eyes are definitely wider and has more of a greenish tint than the New Hope version where it is uh, smaller and definitely has a darker tint to it. And uh, I want to show you guys that the, the vents or the nose vents are definitely different from each other. Uh, in the Return of the Jedi version, you can see that the nose vent is definitely darker than the uh, New Hope version. And as I turn it to the side here, uh, you can see that the side vents are definitely different in design. Uh, in the New Hope version, you can see that the vents are definitely skinnier than the uh, Return of the Jedi version. And I wanted to also point out that these clips here you can see that the clips here has like three stripes as opposed to the, the clip on the New Hope version where it has one. And again, you can see that the Return of the Jedi version is definitely more weathered 
than the New Hope version. And in the back here, you can see that the vents are again different from each other. Moving down to the chest and torso area, you can see that there are definitely differences between both armors. In the New Hope version, you can see that the chest armor is definitely wider and smoother than the uh, Return of the Jedi version where it is skinnier and has this like trim here in the bottom of his uh, chest armor. Uh, the torso armor has like more buttons on the New Hope version than the Return of the Jedi version. I also want to point out in the New Hope version, the belt is definitely cleaner looking and has like this buckle here in the middle as opposed to the Return of the Jedi version where it is uh, definitely more weathered and it's missing that buckle in the middle of the belt. As we move towards the back here, you notice that the Return of the Jedi version has more of a defined look because of that trim that goes all around the backside of the armor, as opposed to the New Hope version where it's missing that trim and kind of giving off that smooth look to it. I also want to point out, you see this top half of the armor here kind of hanging over the torso armor. You don't get that here in the Return of the Jedi version. The gun holster is in the back right side of the Return of the Jedi version as opposed to the New Hope version where it's in the back left side. And last but not least, the leg armor. And in the leg armor, the things that I notice that's different is that in the New Hope version, it is completely clean looking as opposed to the Return of the Jedi version where it's weathered all around the leg armor, including the shoes. And I also want to point out that this band right here that connects this uh, piece right here in the front of his knee is missing in the New Hope version. All right, so I took out the E11 blasters and the thermal detonator canisters just to see if there's any differences between the two versions. And as you can see with the E11 blasters, there are many, many differences between the two guns from the two movies. You can see that the scopes are different. The barrel is different. The mags are definitely different. You can see that the New Hope version is definitely bigger than the uh, Return of the Jedi version. I mean, there are many differences, so I just wanted to name a few of them. But yeah, they look way different. And as for the thermal detonator canisters, you can see that the Return of the Jedi version has more of like that grayish color all around the... Um, the canister as opposed to the New Hope version where it's just kind of like here on the sides here. So pretty cool. So those are the differences I noticed between both Stormtroopers and I hope my video helped you guys with your decision. Uh, trust me guys, you can't go wrong with whatever decision you make, whether it be picking up the new Stormtrooper to add to your ever-growing Star Wars collection or pass on it because you already have one in your collection and don't want to have more than one of the same character. All right guys, so that wraps it up. Thank you guys again for checking out my video. Please comment down below which Stormtrooper design is your favorite. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. And always do what you love and love what you collect. Take care guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.